Welcome back to the channel everyone, I hope you are absolutely well, this is AD back with another video. So today is going to be the review of the AOSIP Dub Fest unofficial ROM let us build for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's now get started. So here's my Redmi Note 3 running the AOSIP Dub Fest. By the way guys, I've already reviewed this ROM previously on my channel, link is in the description or you can just check my channel. So let me first show you the about device section before talking about anything else. Going into the Android version, as you can see, pretty much the standard stuff here. Android version is obviously 9.0 Pi. Let me show you that really quick. Here it is. So going back and talking about other stuff, as you can see, this is the AOSIP Dub Fest homemade. And the build date is 26-8-2019 and this was the latest build at least at the time of recording this video. And as you can see the security patch is of 1st August 2019 and with the next build it will be synced with the September security patch. The kernel here is again the Xprima X28 kernel version is 3.10.108. I'll be talking about battery life and performance in the later part so do watch this video until the end. So talking about other stuff, it's pretty much similar to the older build guys so I'm not gonna go in depth regarding any topic over here. You can check the link in the description. I'll just show you some basic features here like digital well-being as you can see. It's working fine, I didn't update anything yet from the Play Store but still the graph is properly shown over here. Talking about security and location, fingerprint scanner is also working absolutely well. Here it is. And it's fast enough by the way. A little bit faster than other Pi ROMs too as per what I have seen as you can see. Fast enough, no any issues with that and I don't know about the GoodX device, sorry for that. And again all the standard features are present here in the display option. As you can see even the night light is there and it should work fine. Here it is. So here as you can see there are a couple of options like minimum brightness, low brightness and mid low brightness. But in one of the ROM which I reviewed recently the disable option was not present there. That's why the brightness was low in that ROM when we turn on the night light. I just don't remember the name of the ROM. If I remember I'll put it somewhere here or it's gonna be in the description you can check it out. So talking about other things as you can see wake on plug is enabled and double tap to wake is enabled by default. Here it is works fine but no any haptic feedback over there. So going back and talking about the customization option, as you can see here are all the customization options and all of these are working absolutely well by the way, all the major ones. So you can check the link in the description as I told you earlier, I'm not gonna go in depth regarding this here. And Wi-Fi Bluetooth etc is also working fine in this build, no any issues with Wi-Fi or anything like that. So talking about the performance, let me show you my last Geekbench score really quick. And again guys, the Geekbench score is also pretty much similar to the older build. There isn't any major difference over here. As you can see, the multi-core score is 3,554 and the single core score is 1,484, which is really good. And performance in this ROM is really good. I didn't have any issues with the ROM. It was working fine. It was working smooth. No lags whatsoever in the system. Talking about the PUBG gameplay, PUBG was also running absolutely fine in this ROM. I didn't have any issues with PUBG. It was running smooth for most of the part, but at the end, after extended gaming, it was showing small lags here and there and that's been not because of the ROM it's like common issue in all other ROMs and talking about the graphic setting it was there the usual settings balanced and the frame rate was on medium so talking about the battery life till now let me go into battery states battery life is just awesome in this ROM straight away I can tell you that being an unofficial ROM it's better than some of the official ROMs I should say as you can see I played PUBG for around 20 minutes there guys so I count from where I start the match this is not accurate at all again. 20 minutes of gameplay, it had just drained somewhere around 8% of battery. Yes, 8% of battery, that's really good. And the gameplay was also really great. YouTube, I used for somewhere around 20 to 25 minutes. Only 2 to 3% of battery for 20 minutes of continuous video playback on 480p on Wi Fi. Yes, 2 to 3% of battery drain, that's really good in my opinion and other usage also was there but it's not showing up over there it was showing in the digital well-being if you remember you can go back and see there and until now everything seems to work absolutely well and the battery life is really good in this room i can straight away tell you that because other Pi ROMs used to drain a little bit more but this ROM is draining a little bit less battery and even the standby time should be good. I need to test it further so I will have a screenshot on my telegram channel or on my instagram stories link in the description or you can just check here it's appearing over here. So camera app is here and it's working absolutely well as you can see only the common bug is the video recording. I mean it works fine let me show you that really quick. 4K video recording also works fine but when you just tap while recording a video like this that's it the camera is forced closed now you need to clear it from the memory in order to make it work again 
here it is it's working fine again so that's like common bug in all other rooms it's not the room fault here and as you can see here are all the applications that comes pre-installed except geekbench instagram pubg youtube yep these are the applications which i installed all the required applications are present over here even the fm radio is there as you can see you need to plug in headphone in order to use it that's really good because the quality will be just amazing with the headphones so guys this was a quick little review of the aos ip dubfest and official let's build on the redmi note 3 so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this also do follow me on instagram and facebook i'm active over there you can ask me any questions regarding tech this is all about technology 24 to 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day. This through the wastelands, through the highways, and the